So, you know, I don't know what it is exactly, but when it comes to the Tinker's Construct mod in particular, it seems like everybody's an expert. Everybody and their fat mothers are experts on the Tinker's Construct mod. Except for me. <laughs> uh, whenever, because uh, I don't have a fat mother, that's why. No, um, whenever I do Tinker's Construct, I look at the comments afterwards, it's like, oh, Etho, no, you, you did it all wrong. You don't know what you're doing. You used the wrong materials. You should have used the the upgrades instead of just like directly upgrading it. And uh, yeah, you, you made the binding out of the wrong thing. You could have got some free modifiers. It's like, oh my goodness. It's such a complicated mod and everybody knows exactly the best way of doing everything. Except for me, I feel like there's these things. And I think there's like some tricks people do with these things. I think the idea is, or what I've kind of figured out over the years, is we want to get the magical wood. Get the magical wood, because it has, like, extra modifiers, that material, and then we upgrade and keep those modifiers, I think is the trick. I'm going to do that, and you guys are going to tell me why that's wrong. <laughs> um, okay, so get some bookcases. Make magical wood. We need bookcases, and we need gold, and we need experience. So each one of these costs four XP levels. We had 12, able to craft three. Now we can activate, I made a XP shower here. And craft a few more if we want. <laughs> All right, so that'll give us a pickaxe with horrible durability, horrible mining speed, but it has five modifiers. That's good, right? No. <laughs> okay, so since uh, last time I used Tinkers, they've added some, some new stuff. Uh, to the magical wood, yes, you get the extra three modifiers. That's true, but they've added the magically brittle. Has a random chance of breaking when it takes damage. Can break unbreakable tools. My goal with this pick was to make it unbreakable. Um, so it's, it's basically useless. I gotta, I gotta pick some different materials. Okay, so I looked through the Tinker's book. I think I figured out what material I want. We're gonna go for Fluix Crystals. Cobalt, pickaxe head, flux crystal binding, and electrum tool rod. Very weird combination. I know, I know. But we're going to try it out here. <laughs> so apparently, the flux crystal binding gives you the ability uh, Portly Gentleman, which allows you to move mobs and other entities around. <laughs> At the cost of your ability. Yeah, check this out. The really cool thing about it is it works on hostile mobs, too. We can just snag a skeleton, and then you just press the key on your keyboard and you let him go whenever you want. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I like that. But my big problem with the Tinker's tools is they keep breaking on me, and as far as I can tell, there's no way to make the battery-powered Tinker tools anymore. So I'm gonna try and make some of these, some more of these reinforced plates. Throw those in. Speed them up. And we get obsidian plates. And we take those plates, we throw it in again, and we get dense obsidian plates. Now we just need some gold sheet metal. Yeah, so the pick only has two modifiers on creation, so we gotta do some mining to upgrade it. I'm just gonna do that. So that brought it up to four. So each of these increases durability on the tool by 20%, so if you have five, that's 100% uh, unbreaking on it. So, let's do it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, unbreakable, amazing. This pick also has the shocking modifier, which comes from the Electrum tool rod we put on it. So if you break blocks, it gives you haste three for a moment, which is pretty cool. Which means you can mine stuff like obsidian a little faster maybe for a moment. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, that's pretty neat. I like that. Whoa! I don't like that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let me out of here. Let me out. Let me out. Oh man, that was so bad. Ooh. Ooh. Eat, eat. Oh, I'm not gonna live. Sandwich! No! <laughs>
Ah, oh, dang. Now I owe uh, Iskel an item. What a disaster. Uh, you know the worst part about that? I was all like, hey guys, check this out. I have haste three on my tools. Isn't this amazing? And that's what killed me. <laughs> like right away, the haste three got me. I wasn't used to using it. But I've done some mining since then. I've gotten a little bit better. Um, I also upgraded our Maddox. So we have a cobalt axe head, cobalt shovel head, and a luminite tool rod with the global traveler on it. Also made it unbreaking, so that's cool. Um, so Global Traveler, I'm trying to figure this out at the moment. It says, shift right click a block in order for items from broken blocks and killed entities to get transported in there if it is an inventory. Makes sense? Not to me. <laughs> I think it's saying, like if you have a something with an inventory, like a chest, I'm thinking if there's like stuff on the ground. What did it say? Shift right click? Oh, we lost it. Shift right click. Linked inventory. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. Um. Oh, is it like when I'm mining maybe? That would be crazy. Nope. Oh, actually that is what it is. So check this out, I'm breaking the dirt, and it's going into the chest automatically. Which is pretty cool. But for some reason, I think because gravel checks if it has to drop flint, like on destruction, it doesn't work for, for gravel. It's like a special block. But it seems to work with like everything else I've tried. Like the saplings go in there. Uh, also, it works when vein mining too. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can vein mine or just the top on these. Nope. <laughs> all right, and that did not work for some reason either. Oh no, it did. Just not all of them got in there. Oh, it worked for the top layer probably, but not the bottom layer. I think that's what happened there. That was kind of strange. Try it on the reeds. Huh. Did any of the reeds go in there? No, 10. Again, probably just the top layer. But uh, yeah, anyways, I did do a couple things around the place here today as well. So I finished upgrading the windmill. It's got all eight sails on it now. At least I think it's eight. Maybe don't count. <laughs> if you count, you'll prove me wrong probably. Um, so it's spinning faster. It's producing more power, which is cool. I got that hooked up to the blast furnace over here. So I, I tried to move the rest of the stuff that was still outside inside and give it a place. Um, so the windmill can just about keep this thing running. The preheaters on it and stuff. Like, it just about produces enough power for that. Move the smelter inside. And you can see I did a bit of work on the interior here as well. Like, the walls and stuff. They have trim on and around now. Uh, there's none of that green glass showing. I added in, like, a floor. Started working on a floor for the second layer. And it just makes it more feel like a more finished building now which I like. I think this is going to be a kitchen. Maybe. Kitchen or a bedroom, probably. Kitchen makes more sense to me. Uh, then I also upgraded the Coke oven, so it's the Coke oven advanced now with the steel plates in, which means it can uh, be automated, it can smelt faster, and you can hook up preheaters to this as well, but I just kind of threw it in the basement for now. Um, but it can... You can hold an inventory now and like keep running for a long time. Same with the, the furnace here. We can just load it up at the top here with iron and, and charcoal and it'll run on its own. So that's cool. We can automatically make steel now. So check this out. We're actually very close to finished with the immersive engineering line here. So we're going to try to do that today. Um, by the way, someone, well, a lot of you guys told me about this. If you look at the top left of our JEI, like we, we got all the recipes on the right, but apparently there's a way to save recipes on the left here. So if you hover over something like in the list here or when you're crafting it, if you just press A, it adds it to your favorites. So now it's up over here and I can remove it by pressing A as well when I hover over it. So that's super cool. Thermal electric generator. I think that's like geothermal power, like lava and ice. Um, double check here. Oh, and I guess we did the one after that. Yeah, lava and ice. So you put 
Uh, you put the sandwich between a lava and ice, and then it'll produce power. I think it's very little, though, so I don't think we'll bother making that, like, in the world. External heater. I think that was a part of a recipe. All right, we got a nether wart block. And a silky jewel. Okay, so let's do the medium voltage and high voltage stuff we need to make here. So medium voltage wire is electrum. Make some wire. Um, we need the capacitors. So I got that saved up here using that handy little trick. So low voltage gets upgraded to medium voltage like that. We'll take our wire. We need to make some uh, medium voltage wire. And then we need the relays and connectors as well. So those are something. <laughs> yeah, that's the relay and then the connectors. Okay, and we're out of inventory space. Look at that. That's a, a running theme I'm having here. Okay, we got those all done. Now the high voltage. Okay, we got steel wire. Okay, that's the trick with that. I did save the capacitor recipe. So that takes lead block, steel, treated wood, redstone block, and the medium voltage one. So that's an upgrade. Okay, we got lots of wire. Okay, the wire connectors are just the terracotta with aluminum. And then finally, we just need some of that insulating glass we built our, our house out of here. All right, we get that. We go for boop, 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 boop. And is it iron or aluminum? Uh-oh. It's aluminum. No. <laughs> all right, so all high voltage stuff seems to want aluminum over iron. Iron is like for medium voltage. They look almost the same though. So yeah, it's understandable. Let's see here. So these things, these look pretty cool. I like these. A sponge and, oh, grilled cheese. I like that. I was running low on food. So this is a pretty neat trick, probably obvious to people that play modded all the time, but the recipe for treated wood planks, it wants a creosote bucket. And like for a while I was just crafting those one at a time because like the bucket empties, you got to fill it up. It empties, you got to fill it up. Uh, what you can do though is just fill up like a tank of creosote oil. Um, and you can get tanks that hold like over 200 buckets of stuff, right? And then... Um, you don't have to keep replacing the bucket in the middle. It, it just goes until it empties. So look at this. Bam! We got four stacks from that. And if this was bigger, it only holds uh, 40 buckets. If it was bigger, though, we could craft more at a time. But uh, that's way, way more convenient. <laughs> I, I actually set it up like in an auto workbench for a while because it was driving me crazy uh, doing the bucket thing. But uh, this is way better. So I'm kind of debating like if I should bother setting up the water wheel. I think it produces a decent amount of power. But I think we might be like past needing it at this point. I feel... I don't know what Iskiel has done exactly. But he's got something crazy set up over here. <laughs> this... Uh, he's got a new... new oh, that's tough to say. Numismatic, numismatic dynamo. So occasionally this thing just turns on on its on its own. So somehow, <laughs> I don't know exactly what Iskiel's doing, but I think he's farming apples, trading those to villagers for emeralds, and then burning the emeralds in here using this lapidary upgrade. Allows for various gemstones to be used as fuel. So this will just turn on randomly when it, and I'm not sure why or how exactly. It's It's kind of a mystery, but I figured out you can burn diamonds in here, so I'm happy. And it gives a ton of power. Like, look at this. Going up pretty good. If, if it's not fast enough, like if I'm struggling, I can just speed it up and it'll burn it really quickly. Purple crystal shocker box. That's good, actually. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, and I, it's a crystal one, so I think it, you can see the items inside, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know we had this mod. I really like that this mod. Uh, how much do those cost to craft? We had those in the Pixelmon series. I wonder what they're like in here. Um, now oh, we still need the shulker shells. E, unfortunate. Okay, let's take a crafting break here. We're going to make a fun item I wanted to check out today. There's 
Climbing gloves from Cyclic. Climb any vertical surface, right click to toggle on. So, I think it's a bobble though. Oh, it activated already. Wait. Oh, I'm like climbing everything. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, so everything gets treated like a ladder then. That's that's actually pretty cool. That would have been handy when I was building this. Uh huh. Now can I put them in my bobble slot anywhere? Maybe. Oh, you can. Okay, that's that's neat. I like that. All right, we just got three of these left, so let's hammer them out real quick here. We're gonna need a kinetic dynamo, and then the generator. Bam. I still would like to build a crusher from Immersive Engineering, and uh, might be a couple other things we should try build. I think we need the radiator for some of the bigger machinery. Yeah. A water, oh, that's really cheap. Water, steel, and copper. Let's open up the loot chest. Coconut shrimp. Radiator. Claim it. Just one left, the projector. This one, I'm not really sure what it's going to want from us. Oh, we got a painting. Three paintings. Oh my goodness, these walls. Perfect. That's the one I wanted. The projector can display how multi-block structures are supposed to be built. Craft the projector with an engineer's manual turned to the page of the machine you want to build to set it. All right, here we go. Projector. We're going to make eight of them. Oh, they don't stack. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, so it said, turn to the page you want in the manual. Construction. What's the... Uh, I guess it would be, probably be under heavy machinery or multi-block constructions. Nope. Um, what am I looking for, guys? What am I looking for? Heavy machinery. The crusher. This is something I want to build. Like, you can look at the book and see how to build it, but it's, like, kind of annoying constantly having to look at that. And I think that's the idea behind these projectors. This is a cheap thing you can place down. Okay, yeah. Oh, and it shows you... Here, let's go outside for a sec. Oh, this is cool. So, please don't kill me, creeper. Whoop. We got him. Okay, so... Oh, weird. It, so I thought you would place these. I guess you don't. Okay, so I've been gathering all the pieces together here to craft the crusher, like, for realsies here. We tried that projector out properly. Uh, I noticed one thing else that's really neat here. Like, if you hover over the question mark, it has a check mark for all the items you have already in your inventory, like, to craft it. So I'm missing the light engineer's block still. Go over here. Uh, how many of these should we make? All of them. <laughs> I never want to craft them again. No, I probably still will need to. Uh, you go through these pretty quickly. Um, okay, so now according to the book, we got everything. Let's head back outside here. Another creeper? Really? I just cleaned up the area. Ooh. All right. Um, let's see. Grab it here. And I'm wondering if there's a way to like automatically build it. Or how do you actually build it with this thing? Can you? Because I can't place it down or I haven't figured out how to. Oh, middle click is to rotate. Uh-huh. Okay, so I cheated. I looked online on for more information on it. I guess what you do is you right click. And then as long as it's in your hotbar, you can move around and select other blocks and place them and stuff. That's the idea behind it. Um, if it moves out of your hotbar, it... it vanishes so you gotta oh it comes back once you put it back in oh okay that's good yeah i kind of uh, i kind of thought they would have like some way to like automatically build it for you but I... oh wait wait a second do i just hold no i can't just hold right click i gotta put i actually gotta put them in the right place <laughs> i think um it's interesting. Oh, that's not the right one. Oh, it gives you a red uh, red box if it's wrong. That's good. Okay. Hoppers. Oh, and it gives you a big green box when it's all complete. That's cool. Smack it with a hammer. And we got some hazardous machinery. 
but yeah, anyways, I guess let's hand this in. Um, it wants us to choose a reward, but these are all exactly the same, as far as I can tell. So I'm just going to pick the middle one. It might be a good one, though. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Oh, it said it was rare. So they do have a rarity level. Interesting, interesting. So is that all done, then? Oh my goodness, we got a, a check mark on the immersive engineering, guys. Awesome, so this calls for a celebration, everybody. We've been cooped up in that house for far too long. We're gonna get out and uh, check out these pirate ships. Oh man, there's a lot of guys there. Oh, and they do have bows. Oh noes. <laughs> That's uh, Serpentine. Serpentine. Did they, did they find me? I don't think they found me. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't even need to uh, build. I can just climb. <laughs> oh, get the frying pan! No! Man overboard. Oh, they got such cool hats. I think you can find those hats in these, these pirate ships. It's one of the loot items. I always loot these with other people, like when we play series together, and I've never actually seen the loot. What happened to you? I think you got attacked by a bird. Oh, he dropped the hat. Nice. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, Captain Etho. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. I don't know why. Um, all right, let's finish raiding this place. Oh yeah, there's a there's like a. A gully or a basement or whatever this thing too. I don't know my ship terminology. Oh, I love the climbing gloves, but it's so brutal when you're trying to go through doorways. That's the only issue with them. Uh oh, uh oh. I need a ranged weapon, that's what I need. I saw Tinker's has like a laser gun now, which I want to check out too. Nice. Oh, another pirate hat. Cool, cool. Uh, and we should take these chests too, because they're kind of kind of annoying to craft. Bunch of fire charges. Another pirate hat. Oh, the stuff's going into that chest we have set up. It's like, why isn't it going in my inventory? <laughs> That's why. It is. It's just not my personal inventory. Okay, okay. Snake that. Oh, and there's some stuff in the basement here. Sponge blocks. I don't know if those are any good. Take all the dispensers, because these things are kind of annoying to craft, even in vanilla. They probably cost more in here too, let's check them out. Do they, do they need compressed cobble? Oh no, it's the default recipe, really. Alright, oh we didn't, we didn't get this stuff. So nothing too exciting, I think the captain hat is like the best thing. Okay, so there's a couple other things I wanted to check out today. It just turned nighttime, so this is a great time to try these out. There's a night vision helmet from Cyclic. Again, Cyclic just has so many, so many fun, cool things to play around with. Yeah, and it just works. It just works, guys. Look at this. Night vision. Very cool. Very cool. I saw there's something called a bed charm. Sleep charm. That's what it is. I knew that. Uh, apparently, if it's in your inventory or your bobble slot, you can sleep faster. Normally, it takes you like 10-15 seconds to sleep. I want to see if it, it also works with the sleeping bag. Yeah, instant sleeping. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to head outside. Clean up these mobs. And probably try build something over here. Oh, what happened here? Creeper. Creeper blast, probably. Um. Oh, it's these guys. These guys are weird. Flame golems. With a creeper behind them. Don't don't you think I don't see him? <laughs> he was trying to he was trying to hide. Oh, they melee you too. That's interesting. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's call this the center right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight, nine. Maybe we'll, we'll start over here. So we got something to check out. I'm gonna dig a bit of a hole here first off. Okay, so we got a nine by nine by two tall area dug out here. I made some dark glass. Uh, I think this blocks out light. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Let's put our night vision back on. So here's here's what someone said in the comments on last episode. You can apparently, with these sacks of holding, pick up mob spawners, <laughs> which is pretty pretty crazy. Um, the other crazy thing. Oh, we must not be on hard because I'm not getting poisoned. Interesting. Okay. Anyways. The other crazy thing is, apparently these work with the time in the bottle. <laughs> okay. Thankfully there's a limit to how many they'll spawn. Otherwise this thing would have just filled up like crazy. Like spawners, I think, can only spawn up to six. Uh, and then it stops. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Um... Can I climb out? Yes, I can, because I got the climbing. Oh, but they can climb out too. Oh, I did not think that through. Yeah, so the idea here is I want to make a simple mob farm. We'll collect different spawners in the world and have them in a chest here or something, and then we can switch them out depending on what we want to what we want to farm, right? And we just gotta keep it dark down there. So if we put a slab above, we can we can access it, and it's still dark in this version of Minecraft. Um, so that's good. Let's throw on our helmets. And I tried out making these cyclic fans. Again, cyclic, amazing. Um, so you can actually control a lot of different things on them. You can have it controlled by redstone or just always on. You can turn the sound off if you want. You can adjust the range, the speed that it pushes you. If you max that, they get pushed faster. Um, and it goes up to 32 blocks, which is crazy. Okay, last one here. We're going to set it to range of 9, max speed of 10, sound off, always on. Okay, so now all of these are pushing to this end. We'll set up two more fans over here. These we will max out. And just for now, I'm going to max them out. Um, max and max. Whoop. And it's going to push stuff out to the ocean for right now. <laughs> While we test this, because I'm not sure how I actually want to kill them just yet. We do have, like, diamond spikes as an option here. But they're too expensive to craft at the moment. Um, I would like to turn that other fan on. Might be a little tricky. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. And... Always on. Okay, so now they're both on. Good, good. Um, let's, uh... Close this back up, and we'll try it out here. So we'll put the spawner in. Loop again. It's dark down there. And then we're going to time in the bottle it. And they should, uh, <laughs> they should just shoot out of there constantly. <laughs> and we can do that with any mob. Blazes, zombies, skeletons. Um, so then the question is... I should maybe stop it or we're going to get some lag. You don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. You guys are spinning right, spinning around. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Actually, I just had a great idea. <laughs> I'm gonna delegate. I'm gonna I'm gonna farm those YouTube comments off you guys. Get your feedback, because it's about the end of the episode here, and I'm not super inspired on how to do the killing chamber. Like we could, we could just drop them on spikes or something. I think maybe cave spiders. Would have trouble with that though. Um, I don't think we can craft the diamond one just yet. Like this flux infused sword looks tricky, but we could for sure do a gold one. We could just drop them down with fall damage. But I'm wondering, maybe you guys have some cool, crazy, hopefully something that's fun to look at idea on how to kill them. Um, if so, leave it in the comments. I'll check them out and try pick the the one that excites me the most. And then for next episode, I'll try polish that up and we'll check it out. I think is the plan. But that's going to do it for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.